Welcome to Kulik Family Farm. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Jill, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why we had started this YouTube channel. Greg and I wanted to have records of the success that we have had on our farm, and this was my way of documenting that. Over the time that we've done the YouTube channel, we have grown a lot and had many successes, but it wouldn't be fair to only show the successful stories. Today we're in my kitchen and I'm showing you a clip that I really didn't want to share, but overall I am glad because I want to show you how we had an unsuccessful situation and turned it into something positive. We grew Alyssa Craig onions from starts that we had gotten from Johnny's selected seeds. These are not meant to be a storage onion. It is a sweet onion, which is a taste that I prefer over your standard yellow storage onion. A couple of weeks ago, I noticed that we were having a fruit fly problem in our basement near the onion storage area. I created a homemade fruit fly trap out of a mason jar, liquid hand soap, and apple cider vinegar. I was hoping that this was going to completely resolve the problem. I also went through our onion boxes and pulled out any soft or sprouting onions and took care of them right away. I noticed that the fruit flies have come back and I decided that I am not willing to risk losing any more onions at this point. So I have decided today that I'm going to go through all of these onions save what I can, chop them up, and freeze them because I would rather have frozen onions and guarantee that I won't lose any more onions in the future. This is my trusty onion dicer that I'm going to use. I also have gloves on my hands because it is cold in Wisconsin and I have cracks in my fingers and it really burns if you get onion juices in cuts in your hands. here we are and after chopping all of those onions up I think I lost probably three and a half onions and we got a very large gallon size of black bag out of it which I'm going to throw in the freezer and just grab from to toss into dishes that I'm cooking um, our pigs and chickens will be happy because they have tons of scraps it didn't take all that long some of these it was very interesting um, some of them were like a cross between a red onion and a sweet onion. And you can kind of see the color variations. Um, and I think some of the reason that they went bad is because maybe I didn't let them sit out to cure long enough. The, uh, skins on some of them were very very thick multiple layers deep and others were very thin and uh difficult to get off in the first place because they were so thin that they would break apart and then you know i'd go to the next onion and it would have three layers of very firm brown paper on the outer um on the outside of it so i just thought that was interesting i guess we'll try and cure longer in the garage on our drying rack I don't know that I would do the same onion sets or um, because these came with green tops. So they were given a little bit of a head start. You know, the little bulbs that you stick in the ground. I don't know. We got our starts from uh, Johnny Seed, Johnny's Select Seeds. 
it's difficult when you invest so much time and energy into your garden and you get a huge harvest, but then things start going bad and you feel like you're wasting all of that effort that you put into growing great food for your family. So this is just a way that I am trying to extend the length of time that we have to use the onions that we grew. Hopefully you find it helpful. So tonight for dinner, I am making no peak chicken. This recipe I originally got from my mom and I am not very good at measuring things. So I kind of do things my own way with whatever I have on hand. But here is the original recipe that she gave to me. One large chicken, which I am in this case using chicken breasts, which are a little bit freezer burned as you will see in just a few moments. One cup of long grain rice which I chose to use wild rice, two cups of hot water or broth, one can of cream of mushroom soup, half a cup of chopped celery, one can of mushrooms, which I did not have, and you layer those in the pan, add paprika, pepper, and one package of onion soup mix on the top, bake in a 350 degree oven for two and a half hours. Unfortunately, I did not take a picture of how this looked after it was baked but I assure you it is delicious. The main thing that you have to remember is to cover this tightly with foil before you put it in the oven and do not peek at it until it is done. <laughs> 